Here comes the Spider-Man. Stupid reactions, the idiots. I'm Corbin, and this is Richard. Peter Parker, spelled backwards as Rick Rap Retep. No, it's not. Yep. Um, and today they just dropped the. I think this is the first official one because the other one I believe was a teaser. Yeah, I think you're right. It was a tease. Those Marvel teases. Yes, but of Spider-Man: Far From Home. Yeah, which is the now the first post Endgame. Right, which if you haven't seen Endgame, you probably shouldn't watch this because we'll talk about stuff because we've seen Endgame, so go away. Yeah, yeah. So, it yeah, might even more spoilers, so you just, just, just know that. Right. <laughs> go see Endgame. Who, like, yeah. It's been out for like five days. And we already know that this is post Endgame, so you. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Spoiler. Spoiler. Uh, <laughs> but, uh,. I'm excited because the last time we saw Mysterio with Jake Gyllenhaal, which right. he looked, looked great. Great. Yep. Um, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more with him. Um, yeah, that was really encouraging when we saw him because I didn't know he was in it and to have a heavyweight actor like that. And we've never seen Mysterio right. on screen in live action before. So. Correct. So that's great. Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. Indeed. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, Enjoy the trailer. He does a really good American accent, by the way. Everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Oh, that just made me sad. Yeah, I miss him too. Yeah, me too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. You going to be the next Iron Man then? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your job. <laughs> I'm kidding, look, keep up the good work because I am going on vacation. Such a cool suit. Heads up. Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Fury. Yes, Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go Nick Fury. Hey, Dirks. What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo. Oh, and <laughs> Jordan really likes me. I was when I first fell in love. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. This is Mr. Beck. We could use someone like you on my world. Your world? Beck is from Earth. Just Earth forest cave. Snap to our hole in our dimension. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do, and you're coming with us. The spider -verse. spider man into the multiverse. There's gotta be something else you can use. What about Thor? Off-world. Captain Marvel, unavailable. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Bitch, please, you've been to space. Peter. <laughs> I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> I love her, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. Oh my god. Sorry, I should have put my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? What? Spider-Man, not more Spider-Man. <laughs> New plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks good. It looks fun. That looks good. Man, dude, Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio. Yeah. Mysterio, they made him look cool. Super cool. Yeah. And so I'm wondering, because um, he can make you see things. So right. I'm wondering if that's what, like, the big giant, like, it looks almost like Sandman. Right. That's what it reminds me of. It's, uh, a lot of people said it could be Mysterio. Um, Just... Creating, creating something, creating something, yeah, um, in like a um, illusion, right? Kind of a thing. A uh, couple of different things in there, like the whole multiverse concept that they're bringing in, where yeah. he's getting a revelation about a multiverse. <laughs> and then, what's the deal with? There's got to be another Iron Man. He said that, didn't he? Well, you know, he said the next the, since spoiler, Iron Man's dead, right? So he's saying Spider Man needs to step up and be the next Iron Man. 
Positional. Positionally. Right, which would be true. He would. Uh, that's what Tony would expect of him. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's what that is. Um, but, I mean... <laughs> I just think it's funny they said spot the the multiverse. I know I did too. It's like, I mean, it, they're both Sony. So yeah, they're made by the same people. Exactly. So they can take those concepts and blend them, which Marvel's clearly doing. Um, Blending the multiverses. Not it's not just the Marvel universe. It's the Marvel multiverse. Bring Spider Pig in. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, man, that looked that looked really good. It's great. Uh, I'm hoping it, and it's interesting because obviously we didn't see in the last one that. Tony died, obviously, because that's a huge spoiler. Right. Um, but the, 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 that bringing weight to this. Yeah. Because of how connected he was. To, yes. To Iron Man. To Iron Man. is that Tony being a surrogate dad to him and, yeah. and feeling the weight of carrying the responsibility mm -hmm. that, that Tony had. Yeah. I, th I bet they play into that in a big, big way. And I love, how, I love how they're portraying MJ mm -hmm. in, in this Go of Spider Man. Everything about this is the best. Yes. Yeah. It's. I mean, I got it right. Spider Man: The Spider Verse is my favorite Spider Man movie. Can't deny that ever. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> it's fantastic. But this is, in terms of live action, my favorite Spider Man, uh, and I think they're doing a fantastic job with it. So I'm hoping it's as good as. Let us know what you think down in the comments section below.